I have an amazing plan for us today. It is going to be such an awesome day. I'm in the process right now of packing my orders. Let me show you some of the items that sold yesterday before you get to see the special guest that is going to be coming on to our video today. So we had a four piece bundle that is going out. This is an express jacket. It's like a nice moto jacket style. This is kind of like a suede with a faux leather. Then we have this sweater as well as just a basic Zara tee and then this metallic maxi dress and then gotta give credit where credit is due my husband picked this up and he was like i have got to get this listed because i guarantee it's gonna sell for the holidays and sure enough i don't even think it was up for more than three days and it sold these pair of nike sold they actually sold for a really good price these were in really great condition they were a size 10 and a half really basic just solid black so I, I can't remember what they sold for but they sold for a pretty good price next over here this brand i kind of expected to sell for a little bit more this is the brand acne and it sold for $46 this one definitely had some wash wear because of the color it kind of bled a little bit so I was willing to take that price but I think I only put it up for 55 I kind of expected acne to go for a little bit more but oh well then we have this fun little hat this is soul made I loved the play on words there just a really basic hat um, and that one sold for $19 we had a free people dress that sold this fun Michael Kors metallic sweater. I really only think the reason why I sold this was because it was a metallic. Kind of gives me like holiday vibes, but that one didn't sell for a whole lot. Michael Kors doesn't sell a whole lot for me. How about you guys? Let me know. And then we had this fun sparrow dress. You can see kind of it right there. It is this fun maroon color. That one sold for $24. And if you're seeing these like pink things and wondering what they are, that's the SKUs in our inventory system. So I know where those items are. Right now I'm trying to get all orders pulled before our special guest comes and then I am going to go thrifting with them and we're gonna have a really awesome day. I can't wait to take you along and see some of the items that we will pick up. Okay guys, it is officially dark. I have already done all of the shopping, but I did not get to show you who the special guest was. Hi. Karina came out to visit me today and we got to go shopping. What was your favorite place that we went to? Honestly, that outlet was like, an experience and i thought it was pretty cool i would have yeah. stayed longer maybe i'll come back again and we'll yeah. just spend like a whole day, day there. there or something um but i found the best stuff at plato's closet yeah agreed i feel like the the outlet out here is definitely an experience you have to go if you ever in eastern oregon or washington i should say but the plato's actually we did find yeah, some pretty good found, stuff there she found something cool <laughs> I'm jealous of what she found. Well, I will definitely show you guys everything later. I can't wait. Now, Karina has to go home. But yes. you will probably be seeing her a little more frequently. But Karina, where can they find you? You can find me at Paradigm Thrifts on Instagram, Poshmark, and on YouTube. I wasn't going with an anticipation of trying to do like a super large haul. I was actually being pretty picky because between all of the trips we've been doing lately, it's not like I really need inventory. You know, we gonna get some. And this is what I got. All right, so let's dig in. Let's do the bins first. We were there and obviously you got to see some of that footage. We weren't anticipating that the shoe bins were gonna get switched out. And if I remember correctly at this outlet, they only switched the shoe bins twice in a day. I completely forgot about that. 
until I, um, we were there. <laughs> when your watch reminds you that it's your bedtime. Oops. So you're going to see there's, there's quite a few shoes that we ended up getting. First thing that I have is this military jacket. It's actually the very last thing that I picked up. We love selling anything military. And I really liked this one because it was a solid olive green and it was kind of that fleece material. We had another coat recently that was an olive green parka that looked basically new and that one sold within I want to say 72 hours like it was really quick potentially even 48 hours and this one is a size extra large if you see anything that you're interested in feel free to comment down below and I will get this sold to you before I actually get it listed the next item is perfect for this season but honestly it's a perfect item to get any time of the year it is field and stream this is what the logo looks like so this is an extra large tall. It is a red plaid. This is a flannel. It is definitely a thicker material. I actually feel like this would be so perfect for like that jacket style for women. It is a men's, but it's such a great, it's a great oversize. You could easily wear like a black bodysuit underneath with like skinny jeans and throw this over the top. Amazing. Next, I was really happy to see these. These were Nike running shorts, but they were a 2XL. And I don't think I've honestly ever picked up running shorts that were more of a plus size. So I was really excited to find these. I was so happy to find this. So normally I don't pick up a lot of REI, but this one was one obviously like a puffer coat. And two, the tag to me looked pretty vintage. And Again, normally I wouldn't have, like when I first started reselling, I wouldn't have picked up vintage items. But now that I've been in the reseller game for about three and a half years, I'm beginning to understand when there's value. So this is what the tag looks like. And you can actually kind of see like the way that this is, is so, I don't want to say outdated. It's definitely like vintage. It's like that old papery like fabric tag and size tag. And this is, I want to say a men's large. And it is reversible. I mean, it's the same on both sides, but it's reversible. And this is 95% goose down, if I remember correctly. I think it was this one. Next, from this area, I honestly didn't think I'd ever find something like this, but this is amazing. Um, I found, this was, I think, one of the first items that I found. This is, ooh, hold on. This is a Lululemon jacket. And the way that I knew that was by That Awesome little giveaway right there and then I also when I flipped it over found this beautiful one on the back. I love this color it has kind of like that light seafoam green look to it with like a heathered gray throughout it. I love the asymmetrical vest or not vest zip <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out what size this is. I am not entirely sure but it honestly feels in pretty new condition. It doesn't have a lot of wash wear feel to it so I'm so excited about that. Okay so now we're down to the shoes. The first pair of shoes are these Skechers and again this was one of those items that when I looked at the logo I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but that is definitely a older Skechers tag. Um, this also gives me that combat boot vibe and the tread on the bottom of these is phenomenal. They're in amazing condition. I want to say the upper is leather. Yeah, the upper part is a leather. So I'd probably just polish this up and be good to go. Next brand is John Barbados. This is a men's brand and it is from Nordstrom's. Again, guys, this was stuff I found at the bins. Like this blew me away. My husband took a look at these and he said they are still in like new condition because I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but on the bottom it still has like that rubbery like I don't even know what to call that but it has the thing that hasn't rubbed off yet <laughs> if that's a thing to say. The suede is also in phenomenal condition honestly I don't even think I'm going to need to brush it it looks really really good. This is a men's oh sad face I just realized there's no insoles in this. But the size of this one is nine and a half, which is a pretty decent size for men's. I will have to disclose that they do not have insoles inside, but otherwise great condition. Next, we have the brand Paul Green. And once upon a time, this brand was on my brands I wish I'd be able to find in the thrift stores. And per what I have had as experience thus far, it doesn't sell as quickly as I 
as I hoped it was. I thought it was going to be like this nice designer that would sell super fast and finding these at the bins like I was definitely still willing to pick them up but I feel like they're more anytime I find them they tend to be more one narrow more narrow and two more smaller sizes so I don't know if that has an impact on it but I mean the inside feels like in pretty good condition this is a size I want to say 30 I feel like these are European sizes I'm pretty sure that's what this brand is I'm gonna need to look this one up there's definitely wear on the back so I can't see but I mean again suede looks phenomenal this is a really nice little booty for someone to wear I like the color it's definitely like a staple color which is why I picked them up but I just don't I don't know how fast they're gonna sell I might have to just price these just right for them to sell next honestly if these weren't at the bins I probably wouldn't have picked them up but these are Banana Republic Factory which I just recently watched a video on YouTube of someone talking about the differences between a retail retail store versus a factory store and obviously I know that when they have like the stars on the bottom it means that it was actually meant to sell for the factory store when once upon a time like factory stores and outlet stores were supposed to be the uh, inventory that was basically still left in the retail stores that gets pushed to the outlets and the speculation is if it's a factory item it's not always in the best condition and they might cut corners in the materials that they use not to say that's not the case for everything but needless to say if these were super expensive i probably would have passed on them because factory does tend to not sell nearly as much in the resale market uh but these are in phenomenal condition they were i mean they look like they're brand new. These are great men's. I am really enjoying picking up these kinds of men's shoes right now because that casual slash business casual is still popular. I'm not seeing other things selling nearly as well as they used to. So this is great. And last, this was a new experience for me, you guys. I actually had to look these up. These are Nike React. And when I saw the swish on the side, I was like, are these legit or not? But they had the Nike React on the bottom, they had the swish on the side, they had the Nike logo, which font-wise does not look like what it normally does, but I have seen that font before, so that kind of gave me some hope. And then it has the normal Nike tag inside, and so I feel a little confident about these. These are a size 10 and a half. When I did do a little more research, I didn't find that Nike has created a style like this before, but it was just a new to me style and I'm really excited to get these cleaned up. Otherwise, other than that, I feel like they look really clean. That was everything that I got at the bins. And before I go into the buy sell trade store, I just have to say it was so much fun spending some time with Karina. If you are not subscribed to her channel, I highly recommend it. I'm going to link it right here. I'm also going to put it in the description below. Her and I both are working really hard to get to 3000 subscribers before the end of the year on YouTube. So I'm very excited to be tagging along with her on that journey. And we also find it super comical that we just found out that we're only an hour and a half away from each other. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more of her on this channel or just on my Instagram because we had a ball. It was so much fun. I wish I had gotten more footage, but honestly, I was also just really enjoying being in the moment and being able to chat with her. It was great. It was great. Let's jump in to Toledo's. Should I show you guys these? These are like my favorite find. I'm gonna make you wait. Y'all are gonna hate me for this, but I'll make you wait. <laughs> well, if you have seen this channel, seen somewhat sold, you will know that for us, we love selling any snow or ski gear. My husband, when he took a look at this one later, he said this is just like a shell, but needless to say, this is by the brand Quicksilver, which I wouldn't normally pick up, but again, since it was like snow attire, I definitely feel like it's worth it. This is a size large, it's a men's, it's in really phenomenal condition and it does actually have the bottom where it like cinches to the boot not cinches but has like elastic so it's a little more less likely to get snow up your pants this is the brand zia and the only reason why i found out that somewhere on here i saw the moon tuck into the moon <laughs> The song's like it's stuck in my head thanks to TikTok now. Oh, I actually just found the logo. Okay, so the size of this is large. It is a large. And it is has that like semi-sheer in the strap. So of course wearing like a sports bra under this is going to be just perfect for it. Next we have 
the Lululemon Girls brand. I don't remember what it's called. Is it Avivia? I don't remember, but this is what the logo looks like. And if I remember correctly, someone had mentioned that this brand is no longer in production. So this was kind of a larger girl size. I want to say this is probably like an extra large for girls, um, but I really liked it. It's a great active wear top and I don't know the size you guys. Oh, it's a size 14. Nah, that's pretty close. Next we have this base layer. It's a Helly Hansen. This is a size medium. And I did like the, like, how there's a little bit of a pattern to this. So, I mean, you could wear it as maybe like a layering top, but I feel like this is also just a really good base layer piece for people who are wanting to go out in the cold or go hiking, all those sorts of things. <laughs> Next, we have my childhood. Welcome to Ashley's childhood. These are ridiculous platform sliders and the 90s are back in trend, which just it's kind of funny to watch to be honest these are a size 8 and they look brand spanking new so anyone want some platforms hit me up and then last but not least I actually wanted to showcase this brand here because this is the only other time I have ever found this brand if you just recently saw my buy sell trade video you will have seen this in there if you have not seen that one I'm gonna link it right here right now but this is one teaspoon it's calf hair boots i am just amazed that i found this brand so quickly after finding it for the first time these are a size 38 i don't know if you did see that i don't know if i was too fast before and i'm not seeing any other information about this but i think just the key terms of saying calf hair doing the animal print and also obviously the name, I'm probably gonna be able to find the style name for this. And I'm very much going to use that when I am listing this item because I am sure people are gonna be looking it up. I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to purchase these because if you look really closely, there are some places it has lost its hair, but from afar, you can't see that at all. So obviously I'm gonna disclose that and I'm gonna price accordingly, but they still are in fantastic condition. So these were my favorite find. And that is it for this video. Please hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos about things that I pick up as well as things that I am selling in my store. And I'm gonna see you guys really soon. Bye.